and this Tuesday. It is January 23rd and welcome to Canada's Morning Show. Welcome, welcome. Look who's here. Morgan Hoffman, our entertainment reporter, because in right now, the Oscar nominations. We've been talking about them for a long time. Now we know who has been nominated for the Hollywood's biggest night. All right, uh, let's begin. Do we have a leader? Okay, so we're still... And secondly... How in the world do you do that? <laughs> and when did you know you could do that? Have you been doing that since day one? Well, anyone can definitely improve their flexibility. It's different for every X on my bag. <laughs> so, but you know what? Should people probably, I'm sure in your tutorials, like, yeah, just like stretching that. too right before. Yeah, the... so I usually, yes, just like that. That's exactly it. And Not you a feel chance. a stretch in your Not hamstring. Like if you straighten it out a bit more, then you'll it's like that? a modification. How's, how's that? Yeah, you're doing good. Okay. That's about a 50. <laughs> out all season long with Oppenheimer and Barbie, and Oppenheimer's leading the way. Okay. Um, now, not a whole lot of love for the movies May, December, The Color Purple, or Saltburn that we've seen reflected in other award shows. Um, so let's take a look at what is nominated for Best Picture, I think, in my opinion, if Dave Vine did not win for Best Supporting Actor. I think that would be that would be a huge surprise. So those are kind of the snubs. I mean, a lot of the times when you have these award shows, you've been seeing the same names here and there. I think for the Oscars, these are some pretty big snubs and some big surprises, which is kind of... Yeah. Uh, how's that for a hot take? <laughs> Morgan, thank you for this as always. Appreciate it. Much, guys. <laughs> All right, back after this break here in the morning show.